50. You all have your dials here. They should go from zero to 100. You're gonna start at zero. The more impactful, the more persuasive the ad is, the higher you're gonna turn your dial. A really good ad will score an 80 or 85. Most ads, quite frankly, score about a 35 or 40. So your reactions happen on a second by second basis, and then I see it up there. So everyone go to zero, and let's play the ad. Our parents have three rules. Thank you. Go to church, go to school, and take care of each other. You'll put this in the refrigerator for the kinship family. Thank you. Let us thank him for our food. Amen. Let's eat. All right. All right. Bye. 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 We all found different ways to care, helping others to thrive, not just survive. I'm watching the dial score and this is a contentious election, a rough election, and Republicans dialed that ad as positive as Democrats did. Tell me why. It's about kids. It's about family. 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 Yeah. Faith. I, think, I think it speaks to tradition. It's hard to go against that, but... Um, I think absolutely. You know, I She's talking about faith. She's talking about family. It's everything that I think Georgia is about. Bringing everyone to the table. Many Republicans would not be able to dial a Democrat that high in a contentious election because they would be opposed or resentful. You have the ability to give that a positive reaction. Is that unique to Georgia or is that unique to Stacey Abrams? Unique to Stacey Abrams. Why? When she started her campaign, it was about we, not us versus them. For any I, don't think it's, I don't think it's unique to Stacey Abrams. I think Southern values, it, it, it portrays that. But at the end of the day, I, I don't think she'll actually do what she says. I don't like her policies, so I think it, the message conveys a good Southern tradition, but I don't believe her. You look at that ad and you're like, I bet you she's a really good person. She sounds like she has a good head on her, good head on her shoulders. I mean, that's, that's what we're reacting to. Because Now, if she went into policy, I'm sure the Republicans would be like, I mean. Back to zero. I'm Brian Kemp. This is Jake, young man interested in one of my daughters. Yes, sir. Jake asked why I was running for governor. I said, one. Cap government spending. Two. Take a chainsaw to regulations. Three. Make Georgia number one for small business. And two things if you're going to date one of my daughters. Respect. And? A healthy appreciation for the Second Amendment, sir. We're going to get along just fine. Brian Kemp for governor. That is like piss poor for the Democrats. Is it the gun? It was right after Parkland, and I don't, and I am a gun owner and have used guns my entire life, and you do not ever have a shotgun pointed, especially at a child. It was just completely the wrong time for him to have done that. Ah, Brian Kemp is politically incorrect. He comes out and says that he wants us to be taken lightly. It's not to be taken. Well, the other thing that bugs me about Kemp's ads is that he throws in that deep southern drawl. I know Brian Kemp, I can call him on my cell phone right now. He is, does not have that deep southern drawl. Yes, he tries to play like he's this good old boy, and this man is a millionaire. This man is getting pedicures on the weekends, drinking mimosas. He's not sitting here with his shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. What's wrong with that? Give me a break. Back to zero. I'm the youngest child of a, of a single immigrant mother. I can remember taking the number 34 bus. Well, my mom and I would get off the bus and we'd walk up to the homes on top of the hill. There, my mother would spend the vast majority of her day cleaning other people's homes. But it was there where I witnessed the value of hard work. This was a woman who worked her fingers to the bone. She was the woman who put the clothes on my back. So I owe to this single mother, this woman, and, and millions like her, you know, throughout the state, throughout the country, who would do everything within their power to protect their children. I gotta ask Republicans in this room, that's the American dream story, is it not? And you only got to a 50. Why? I didn't see the point of mentioning she was an immigrant. Mm -hmm. That's her experience. That's and what the, she the is. The American experience is about each, and, and each of our experiences individually. We each have a story of how we achieve the American dream. We celebrate it. Is it because she's brown? 
No, it had nothing to do with race. It had to do with the fact that I didn't understand what her immigration status had to do with the because ad. Because it creates a hurdle for her to have to climb, one that you might not have to face yourself as a natural born I think it could be politically charged. They know the divisiveness between illegal immigration, and um, I think they could use that to their advantage. Back to zero, please. I'm Richard Ojeda, and people say that I'm angry. Well, angry is an understatement. When I come home and I find that I got children in my backyard that have it worse than the kids that I saw in Iraq and Afghanistan, I can't accept that. When I see companies using bankruptcy loopholes to keep from paying our coal miners the pensions that they work for, I will not sit quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been sold out. We've been sold out by people like Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, and the Washington Insiders. I approve this message because I am angry, and I'm ready to fight back. He's a Democrat. You can't tell what party he is with looking at that ad, yeah. right? Yeah. He talks about poverty. He talks about representing the people in his district. He attacks both right and left or Democrat and Republican. And so it, it really is, that's why I think it appealed to everybody is because everybody kind of saw themselves in him. He, he appeals to the old school Democrats. He really does, the ones that we've lost. Because I, th I think what people lose is that we don't all love Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. We're not all oh, in bed yeah, with them. Yeah, they yeah, want to yeah. say that they, are our, that they are the faces of us, but they're not. That's the thing. So if Nancy Pelosi, if her party wins on Tuesday night, how many would rather have a different Democrat be Speaker of the House? Raise your hands. Mm -hmm. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back to zero, please. The screaming, the violence, the smears, and death threats. The far left moving to socialism, undefended open borders, immediate tax increases, 100% government-run health care. The booming economy stopped. Nancy Pelosi back in power, gridlock, and then impeachment. Is that really what you want? Voting for any Democrat gets you all of that. Future 45 is responsible for the content of this advertising. That was the most divisive ad I have ever tested in my political career. You want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> but is that ad appropriate? No. 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 Yes. No. no, it's not. Why not? Because they said voting for any Democrat, and this is what you're going to get. They're lumping everybody into some far left. Yes, they're wanting everybody. Right. And the burning flag and the intense nature of it was that's inciting violence. And right now, as we know, amplifying violence isn't a Who good burned that flag? Yeah, what riots were we The watching? Democrats. Who, who, burned shot that up, flag? who shot up the synagogue? The dude who shot up that synagogue, that monster, I don't think there's, there, obviously, no, I don't think he's a Republican. The guy a is a, the guy is literally a fascist. He is a neo-Nazi, but it's very important. We have to understand that when we, when we say one bad person does something so they must represent everything, that gets you the same exact thing that got in the mind of that monster that went in and shot up that synagogue. It's ads like this that divide our country. And if you know what, if I was a Chinese or a Russian trying to bring America down, I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna create a super PAC and I'm gonna play this on a constant stream all exactly. day every day. Exactly.